So I frequent the site upcominghorrormovies.com because I always want to be informed on what's coming out. And I wish I could find a site that really had every horror movie and every horror series that was coming out. I feel like I should start that because it is so fucking hard to find out what's actually coming out in the coming months or the coming weeks. And when I went on there, I saw a movie called Honeydew, which was coming out a few weeks at that point. And I saw the poster, which looked cool. And then I also uh, watched a little bit of a trailer and was like, oh, this has got good cinematography. It kind of looks eerie. It looks a little odd. I'm in, right? So this released um, a few days ago. I don't know. I watched it a few days ago. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this review. I fucking did not like this movie at all. Not at all. This movie, for me, is like weird for weird's sake. Um, it's It's got an unbelievably unsuff insufferable couple. I, I just reviewed a movie right before this called Making Monsters. Hated the couple. Couldn't relate to them at all. Same thing here. This couple might even be worse. I don't know. They're both pretty bad. But this couple's awful. Just awful. An unbelievably unlikable couple that you're just screaming at the top of your fucking lungs. Break up. Break up. Move on. You can do better. I just... <laughs> They were both just so bad together. And that right there is tough. Now, if it plays with the film and it works in that way, there's been movies I've seen where the couple is like not together, but the movie is still good. So that's not like, oh, the couple sucks, so I hated the movie. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the couple's extremely unlikable and not in an interesting way. I don't know what they're trying to do with the couple in this movie, but fuck, I didn't care for it. And the rest of the movie, which is that this couple, this couple is like camping. This guy tells them, this is my property, you can't camp here. They go over to this woman's house because they their car can't start. And they go, you know, like, hey, we need shelter for the night or a phone. You know, we, we got to get the car fixed. She invites them in. And then, you know, she's going to be very neighborly and let them stay for dinner and stay the night. And, of course, things in the house with what she's doing. And, and there's another person there and things get weird. But it's just, it's one of those movies for me where there's, like, no substance. It's all style, like, but not interesting style. It's, like, weird for weird's sake. And you just like, there's so many scenes that I was just like, oh god, this is still going. Honestly, I watched this like a week ago, and I almost completely forgot about it. I actually had to look up on my um, letterboxed to even remember what movies I'd watched because I haven't had really any time to sit down and review any of these things. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, Honeydew. Fuck, I gotta talk about that movie. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. I don't have anything to say about the film. I didn't like it, and I don't recommend it. I mean, that's it. That's all I got, you know. So it's not getting any more time for me. Adios.